Hey, what's up, Spinny Beans? Welcome to another Did You Know video. I have plenty of awesome stuff to show you guys today, including one huge mind blow about the toucans that we all know by now are coming to Jamal. And if you didn't, well, there's your first Did You Know fact, I guess. Anyways, Beans, enjoy plenty of really, really cool new Animal Jam conspiracies, glitches, and just random little facts about the game. So as far as I know, this one never blew up in popularity, which is surprising because usually when Animal Jam makes little easter eggs like these, all of the YouTubers are right on it. But as far as I know, this time no one really covered it, so by the time this video gets uploaded, it'll probably be gone, which is good news for a lot of you because those of you who have found out about this are very proud of your new rare footprints. In Animal Jam's epic haunted manor den, there's actually a secret shop. If you go up to the corner where there are these muddy footprints and click on the fourth footprint, you will actually get to buy the footprints in the shop. And these aren't available anywhere else, so they are very rare at the moment because as far as I know, not that many people know about them. So if you were lucky enough to find them this year, you may just have a new rare item on your hands. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if they were released next year. Another cool little adventure base camp fact. If you go all the way down to the very, very bottom right corner, you'll find the 2D adventures that were recently released and added into the regular adventure base camp after their different 2D adventure base camp was removed. In this process, however, Animal Jam added a brand new pathway leading to some sort of weird phantom forest. This normally wouldn't be that interesting to me and would just probably fit in with the background very well. But if we take a look at this map that Animal Jam removed out of Play Wild, we'll see that there's actually some sort of phantom forest. This map is official. Animal Jam originally added it to Animal Jam Play Wild as part of the treasure hunt system, but then removed it. But we got a ton of new information on just what was going to happen in the future with the lands around Jamal because we got a full scale view of exactly what Jamal looks like. So that really makes me think that the adventure base camp might be located somewhere very close to here and that this might be some sort of new phantom forest land. As you can see, the terrain around it matches the actual map very well. Oh boys, you're not gonna believe this. Toucans were here the whole time. They've been hidden all around Jamal this entire time and we just never saw them. For example, there's one hidden in the Chamber of Knowledge over here behind the ladder. Originally, I thought this could just be any type of bird, but the beak is so distinctive, and it also very closely matches the beak of the other toucan that appears in Jamal. I talked about this very briefly at the end of one of my other videos, but when you play double up, you'll notice that there is actually a toucan in the game. Although it doesn't totally look like a toucan at first glance, the Animal Jam Wiki does confirm that it is in fact a toucan. And also, if you look around the game, you'll notice that every single other animal in here is a serious alpha. You know, you even have the blue heron that represents Mira. By the way, I am purposefully failing so I can show you, okay? Like, this is not, this is not me trying. Okay, please don't judge me. But that does lead me to believe that the toucan might play some very important role in the lore in the future, because it is lumped in together with all of the other very important alphas and starting animals from the original game. So who knows what Animal Jam might do with this. We'll find out in the future. I'm really excited because I didn't even realize this, but Animal Jam once again has slipped something right past us that's going to be awesome in the future. For a while now, I've wanted to talk about something that someone named Princess Pretty Rabbit pointed out to me. Unfortunately, I can't give their actual username because they didn't provide it in the email. I'm sorry, but this person did notice that the books in Greeley's bookshelf are all different colors, and there are only five of them, much like the Alpha and Healing Stones hidden all around Jamal that I talked about in my video where I determined that something is going on with Peck, whether she's disappeared, captured, or dead, but things that normally should be six to represent the six alphas are showing up as five, with every color except the pink or purple that represents Peck. Now, I really felt like this was somewhat of a stretch, and I didn't want to throw in something that probably wasn't true, because, well, they are just books, and it's possible Animal Jim just thought they looked good on the bookshelf, but someone else who unfortunately didn't give me their username only gave me the animal name did point out to me that there is something in Greeley's Inferno that definitely says something about these books. As you can see, it's the exact same bookcase, but it's interesting how the books are named. Look closely and it says, how to trick friends and manipulate people. Obviously, this is Greeley's bookshelf. As we figure out, because when you get the prize from the adventure, it is labeled as Greeley's bookshelf. So this means that Greeley has a book called How to Trick Friends and Manipulate People. And next to it, there are five books that are brighter than the others and there's not a sixth one, and all of the colors in there do represent each of the alphas. White being Liza, red being Sir Gilbert, green being Cosmo, yellow being Graham, and blue being Greeley, yet we're just missing Peck. 
Very interesting how the book title and the books line up. There's got to be something here, and I am starting to suspect Greeley as much as I used to before I thought that the Phantoms might be behind it, but I do think that Greeley is up to no good. However, it's possible that maybe this is just about Greeley's fake death, because Greeley's Inferno was around that time where Greeley's death was really kind of confusing, and we weren't sure what was going on, so maybe this is just saying that this is about how to trick his friends into thinking he was dead, but I really think there's more to it than that. Animal Jam has always found clever little ways to implement gods and alphas into the game, but I recently stumbled upon two that I'd never even noticed before. The first one is the fact that Zeus appears on the door to the diamond shop, both on the outside and on the inside. This is really fascinating for a couple of reasons. First of all, all the pillars in the diamond shop are cracked. I talked about this in a separate video where I wondered about why the diamond shop, which is such an expensive and luxurious place, would be so broken and no one would have taken the time to fix it. And well, I think I do have some sort of answer. The diamond shop may have originally served as some sort of Zeos temple or some sort of holy shrine to the Animal Jam gods because the door does have Zeos on it and there do seem to be these kind of cracked columns and pedestals that are very symbolic of ancient relics and tombs. But this isn't the only example of something that just went right under my nose. If you head to the Temple of Zeos and look at Brady Barr's laboratory, the last place I ever expected to find Animal Jam lore hidden, there are little Mira silhouettes carved into the columns next to his door. I cannot believe I never noticed this, and half of you guys are probably like, wow Julian, I've known about that since the beta, like you are so dumb, but no, I really just did not notice these things until now, and I'm sure a lot of you guys didn't pick up on it until now either. I just think that's very, very cool that Animal Jam threw these things in, and who knows what it could mean. Although there's definitely one very important significance in the present. A lot of people have been dismissing my conspiracy theories, saying that Zeos was abandoned by Animal Jam because there was a little bit of a religious controversy, and they decided they didn't want to have Animal Jam have gods because, well, they felt like they wanted the game to be open to all religions, even if you didn't believe in a god, and so they didn't want to give Animal Jam gods. Yet, if they didn't want to give Animal Jam gods, and they wanted to slowly weave Zeos out of the game, why would they put him on the Diamond Shop, which is a relatively new addition to the game? Obviously, they're trying to continue the legacy of Zeos and keep him in the game for the future, so I really do think my conspiracies still do hold, and that you can't just brush it off because Zeus was added into the game recently. Here's something a little bit weird. Animal Jam recently added the rare phantoms, but the rare phantoms are a little bit different. They have quite a few glitches on them, which I will not go into in this video because it is a did you know video and not a glitch video, but one thing Animal Jam did with them is label them as rare, which they have done with plenty of other promo pets. For example, this grasshopper, which you get for adopting 30, I believe is the number, promo pets, does say rare on the tag, but doesn't appear as rare in the preview screen. The same goes for this other grasshopper, or these mice, which are also considered rare, but don't have the rare tag. Whereas the new rare phantoms have the rare tag, both in their little player icon as well as the preview screen on the right. I don't know if Animal Gem just messed up, or they really wanted people to understand that these phantoms were rare, or maybe they were just trying to distinguish them from the normal looking phantoms. Who knows what was going on when they did this, but it's just an interesting fact that I thought I'd throw in. Speaking of fun little pet facts, the mouse has a very interesting interaction that I've never observed on any other animal. If you hold onto it for a while, when it wiggles its tail, it actually moves the little rotate button away from itself, which I've never seen with any other item. If you head down to the Ocean Adventures in the Adventure Base Camp, and then go even farther to the right, towards the bottom right corner of the map, there is actually a little island that has the Forgotten Desert Adventure on it. I find this kind of hilarious, because I have been in this Adventure Base Camp so many times, and I never knew that this little island actually had the Forgotten Desert on it. I mean, it makes sense, it is a flying animal adventure, but I didn't know that they hid it away. So if you ever want a really inconvenient way to avoid clicking on two buttons to pull up the Forgotten Desert, well, just head on over to the bottom corner of the Adventure Base Camp. Well, anyways, Beans, I somehow glitched up onto the Epic Windows Orb, so I guess I'll do my outro here. Thank you so much for watching. If you do happen to stumble across something in Animal Gym that you don't know, or you don't think other people would know, please send it to julian2moments at gmail.com. If you do include your username and ask for credit, I will throw your username in the video, but unfortunately, no one this week gave me their username, so I can't credit all the people who sent me such amazing stuff. Also, just a little reminder, please don't rage if you happen to send me an email and I didn't read it. I do sometimes get emails from multiple people, and one person doesn't give me their username, and I use it in a video, but remember that more than one person can send an email, and the person may not have given their username, and then I used it in a video before I read yours. So please, don't freak out if I used one of your facts that you've sent me, it's really just a coincidence, and I will give you credit if you give me your username. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!